I love food. I'm so happy I got to eat so much food. I feel a bit sick, mind. Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today because I am doing a vegan snack taste test. I honestly love food so much. I love trying new food. I love trying new vegan food. So this is really exciting. When I was vegan back in like 2018, there wasn't this much choice. I went to two supermarkets, I went to Asda and Tesco, and the choice that they had was incredible. If you do enjoy this vegan snack haul, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, and please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And let's get into the video. So the first thing that I am going to be trying today, I have literally seen advertised everywhere and I have wanted to get my hands on it for so long, but it wasn't in the supermarket that I went to. I actually had to go to Asda to get this. So this is the Galaxy Sea Salt and Caramel Vegan and Gluten-Free Chocolate. I want, I want it all. Right, let's have a look. Oh, she's crumbly. So this is a Caramel and Sea Salt one. Stick that there. Oh my God. It has like, That is so good. It's got like wee chunks of caramel in it. Oh, I could eat that all day. The wee chunks in it are so nice. This was a wee bit expensive though. This was like 2 75 I think, in Asda. Which I know is obviously expensive for a chocolate bar, but it's very nice. I will 100% be getting this again. I would give this... Oh, I would give this a 10 out of 10. I know we've just started the video, but I am confident. Given the galaxy, sea salt and caramel, a 10 out of 10. On to the next thing I got was... Da -da -da -da. So these are the Fritella Sour Snakes. They have been vegan approved and are gelatin free. They sound really nice. They're kind of like, remind me of the ones that you get in M&S. smaller than I thought they would be. I'll show, I show you guys. They're quite small. I was thinking like the M&S have the massive ones. Oh, what color? What flavor? Or tropical lemon, apple, or raspberry. Well, let's go apple. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it is sour. I like it though. I'm gonna have to have another one. Oh, I love these. Right, they're so great. These are 10 out of 10 as well. It's because I love food so much, so everything is a 10 out of 10. These are getting a 9 out of 10. They are so nice though. I'm just gonna have another wee one. Mm -mm -mm. On to the next one. Oh, I've got such a choice here, guys. It's unreal. So, I bought these which are vegan coconut macaroon. I actually had a macaroon before, so I don't actually know what it is. It's like a wee cake with co coconutty cake. Gluten-free, vegetarian, and vegan. Oh, right up my street. Kinda smells, doesn't really smell of coconut. Right, let's try this. Should I break it up and I'll show this bite? Oh no. <laughs> I like it. Betty, I think that must be the coconut. Well, if I'm saying, oh, I don't like it, but I'll have another bit. No, I actually don't like it though. I'm gonna have to give these a 4 out of 10. These are really not good. Okay, the next thing that we have is something that I eat time and time again, but I didn't realize this flavor was vegan. Smoky bacon Pringles are vegan. Bacon. Is that not just scary though that there's no bacon in this? Once you pop, you can't stop. This is true, I'm gonna eat all of these today. Right. Oh, that wasn't very satisfying. Hoo hoo! 
<laughs> they are so strong. They are so strong. Oh, bacon. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to have another one. Delicious. I always give people such a hard time when they like choose, out of all the crisps in the world, people choose ready salted walkers. I'm sorry if you like ready salted walkers, but I am judging. But when it comes to Pringles, this is because it's me, uh, I love the plain ones. There's something about plain Pringles that are just so nice. Okay, one more. Mmm, they're delish though. These get a solid 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10. We have more. Ah. So this is the kettle chips, vegan cheese, not cheese, cheese and onion. Red onion, in fact, not just onion. Created with Bosch. Ooh. Oh. That is so, oh no, I don't know if I like that. That is very cheesy. Okay, no, pull yourself together. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I got a big one. Oh my god. The cheese is so strong. If you love really pungent cheese and onion things, these are for you. If you don't, stay well away. I do like cheese and onion. They used to be my favourite when I was younger, actually. But as I've got older, and my taste buds have matured. No, I've not matured in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I just prefer salt and vinegar, I think. But, no, these are nice. Mm. I give these a 7 out of 10, because they are nice, and I feel like people will really like them. But they're just, personally, not amazing. I would much prefer my smoky bacon Pringles. The next thing that we are moving on to is a company that I am obsessed with, Pip and Nut. I love their peanut butter so much. So they have come out with Pip and Nut peanut butter cups, dark chocolate. I used to love the Reese's ones of these. What, what are they called? Reese's peanut butter cups, yeah. So this is like the vegan version of them, I think. Did you know there are 285 different types of squirrels living in every habitat on Earth? That's a lot of squirrels. How cute! And no, I didn't know that. Learn something new every day. Right, now to the good part. This is what they look like. Can you see? Much like our Reese's peanut butter cup. Ooh, very strong with dark chocolate though. Ooh, oh, crunchy. Mmm. This is really sad. Mm. I think I need another bite. We got to the good stuff. Mmm. This is two servings. Sorry. At first I wasn't sure because I like when I bit into it, it was just really dark chocolate, but once you get to the centre of these, they honestly just taste like Reese's peanut butter cups. That's the thing about vegan chocolate, it usually is really strong. This one though, kind of reminded me of milk chocolate. So if you're vegan and like milk chocolate, this one's for you. And dark chocolate lovers, these ones are for you. That's really yummy though. I'd give these an 8 out of 10 actually. Everything scored quite highly. It's because I love food so much, I could never like... I'm like oh! I got my hands in some Little Moons. So I have seen these all over TikTok and people trying them and I was like, I thought I should look for them but I didn't intentionally go to go and get them because I thought they would be sold out. And I know a lot of them aren't vegan because a lot of them have got milk in them. But I do know. Ooh, squidgy. These ones are vegan. So these are the chocolate Little Moons. Mm. Oh, I don't know if I like this, you know. Everyone loves them. Mm. 
bomb. That's so good. I'm shook. Actually, I want more. Just one more bite. Why are they so nice? I honestly thought I wouldn't be joining the hype of Little Moons. Because I was like, surely they can't be that good. They are so nice. Oh my god. Solid 10 out of 10 for the chocolate Little Moon. And like, I can't even describe the texture. On the inside, like ice cream, yeah. But the outside, squidgy. How weird. I love it. The next thing I have are new. So these are the double chocolate mousse. I've got lots of chocolate in this video. Double chocolate mousse with almond so these are new from alpro i've actually seen them advertise it came off my instagram it's got a wee spoon on the front on the top do you see that let's see oh no it doesn't come with a spoon okay first of all that is misleading because the spoon on the top makes you feel like there's a spoon in there and there's not so i'm gonna go and need to get a spoon then um in the fridge oops right still gonna taste the same though am i right yeah oh Ooh. i've just had the chocolate little moon so i feel like it's hard to live up to the chocolate little moon a five out of ten it tastes like a chocolate mousse i feel like chocolate mousse buy them they're kind of expensive I don't think I'll be buying them again. This one's a wee bit odd because I have literally just been eating like crisps, chocolate, baking and sweets. But I have seen these advertised everywhere and I really, really wanted to try it. So this is the sweet and smoky barbecue chicken style pieces from Squeaky Bean. These are 100% vegan. Oh, they smell like chicken. It says vegan. It, please don't at me. It 100% says vegan. Are we sure? That smells like chicken to me. I can see it's like chicken. It tastes like chicken. They look like chicken, taste like chicken, smell like chicken, but aren't chicken. I would give the squeaky bean. Yeah, it would give me an 8 out of 10. Someone who loves chicken, please go out and buy this and tell me. Because I think it just tastes the exact same. Give these a solid 8 out of 10. Really nice. And we have finally come to the last thing in our video, which I've already opened. Which are the gluten-free and vegan Cornettos. I've actually never had one of these. Junk, I used to get the strawberry one on holiday. Oh, so cute. I wonder if it has a wee chocolate bit in the bottom. Therefore, I shall have to eat, eat the whole thing to see. Mm. On the top, then I think it's in a gluten-free cone. Gluten-free. Ooh, let's try. I don't really know how to eat this. I don't really want to bite it because it's ice cream. Because the wee bits at the top are like that. Mmm. Delicious. That's really nice. I really want to try the cone, but... I don't really want to finish the top bit. Right? It's the most unconventional way anyone has ever ate a credito ever. It's got a little chocolate bit. Mm, the cone is nice too. Do you know what I'll do? I think my dad will like this. Let's go give it to Jim. Lucky day, I have just given him my half-eaten cornetto. You make me, I therefore give you my half-eaten food. These were really nice though. So these also get an 8 out of 10 because they just taste like the normal ones. Shit, I need to put these back in the fridge along with my little moons. See if they were just called moons, it wouldn't have the same impact. But it's like little moon, my little moon. Thank you so much for watching my video guys. If you enjoyed my vegan snack haul, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I shall see you all really soon. I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day